more coffee, Mr. Brenner? No, thanks, Jean. Now, that'll be all. I'll just take the check, please. That'll be $4.35. Okay, thank you. Could you, uh, just hold this for a second, please? Thank you. This is a general manager spot. Not anymore, Polly. WUSA Sports, home of Glenn Brenner, the Emmy Award-winning sportscaster. Can I help you? Morning, little people. One of Glenn's claims to fame is his style, the creative force behind Weenie of the Week, Encore Wednesday, Mystery Prognosticator, and countless other pieces that made his shows engaging to everyone, sports fans or not. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. This is a Red Baron from Redskins Park for Eyewitness Sports. Okay, what's the bottom line on this now? I just think that they have to win. They have to win tomorrow, all right? It all starts there. Can you believe a man who calls himself a professional would wear a hat like that while out there in the field? No. No, I, 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 uh, I find it hard to believe myself. I'm a little embarrassed by it. Absolutely. <laughs> being a part of the Channel 9 news team is like being part of a big, boisterous family. For a lot of us, Glenn was a kind of big brother who always managed to get away with things we wouldn't even think of trying. Could you indulge me just a second? You know, I've been experimenting with the glasses. I've been oh. wearing glasses on the air. <laughs> I got my glasses today. I've decided to go with them. Just tell me honestly. I mean, don't don't spare my feelings. Tell me what you, what cameras it to. You good. How do you think they look? What do you think? <laughs> he was a big kid. The guy who wore a coat, tie, and sweatpants to work. We have lost a part of our family, and you have lost a friend. Did I tell you guys about my speaking fee, by the way? Yeah. Did your teacher mention it? It's $500. No. So do you have any lunch money left? Do you have any, uh... Yeah. How much lunch money? How much money you got on you? Um, Here's here, I'm going to give you a little advice on homework. You'll do what I do. Yeah. Skip it. <laughs> Come in. Steal somebody else's. Turn that in. Did you ever get any F's on your report card? Did I ever get any F's on my report card? Yeah. Well, let me ask you guys that question. Do, you, do I look like a guy who would get F's on his report card? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good judges of character. How you trying? Mark Marconi gave us this one. Be careful with that. Mark oh, oh, oh. Oh. Excuse me, uh, officer. How you doing, sir? Fine, how you doing? I mean, what's the, uh, what's the charge? Oh, you got an over-large, um... Weenie? Weenie on the street, sir. My weenie's too big? Too big. An oversized weenie. An oversized weenie. I'm gonna fight this in court. All the information's on the back, sir. All right, thank you very much, officer. Thank you. <laughs> Good old Take, for example, the Channel 9 crew at the Super Bowl in Pasadena back in the early 80s, Redskin Miami game. There were about 20 of us. Brenner took us all to dinner, told us to order anything we wanted, and then charged it to George Michael's room. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the class of 83. These 16 men ran up the highest hotel bill in the history of Western civilization. I mean, the man had a natural talent for humor, and he worked hard to develop it into an art form. So I want to introduce you to a new friend. Let's see if the little guy can swim. Hi, right over here. Oh, there we go. He took sports and made it what it should be, fun. Not a big splash either, right by the 14th Street Bridge. He's all right. Before the regular season started, a lot of the so-called experts said that the Houston Oilers were a team that was headed for the Super Bowl. Well, for the first three periods today, the Oilers did appear headed for a bowl. Not the Super, more like the tidy. I'm here to see uh, Beach Blanket Bingo. I, uh, I understand I was playing here tonight. Haven't I seen you before? I don't think so. I'm from the planet Remulac. Glenn would grab every day and wring every ounce of life out of it. If you needed a lift during the day, you walk back into the sports department. We call it the toy department. Glenn was in charge. <laughs> He handled technical difficulties with grace and dignity. They played the wrong tape. What, what, do they have the right tape? They do have the right tape? Ask them if they'd like to play that now. Would they like to play that? Have you I met my buddy? I don't want to shout this. What? Maureen, get a haircut? He'd bust your chops at every opportunity. This is a four-phone book show by you. Oh, he's taking it out anyway. Take, for example, a Notre Dame grad, Pat Collins, great Irish fan. And here comes Glenn. Unranked. 
San Francisco, 79. Fifth ranked, Notre Dame, 70. <laughs> Chris Everett, it's Female Athlete of the Year. It's the third, third time she's won. The third time she's won the award in the last four seasons. Everett made over $100,000. He laughed at his mistakes. And I know it's hard to believe, but a person can get tired of all that fame and fortune. Uh, that international jet set life, you can get tired of it. I know I do. Veteran cowboy Gerald James is listed in stable condition tonight after getting accidentally stepped on by a 1,600-pound bull at the annual Calgary Stampede. <laughs> and his laugh was contagious. <laughs> not funny. Again. It's not funny. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's one of those shows. Anyway. <laughs> I can hear all the calls now. Unprofessional, that's what you are. My ball, as you, uh, as you saw, came up a little short. Glenn Brenner, integrity uh, on the York. links. It's just you and I out here right now, big fella. And uh, Sonny's over at his ball, and Tim's over at his ball. And Come on, hit. Got some bread right here. At, uh, just let me move that baby up on the grass. What do you think? Nobody's going to know. Yeah, I got a crazy bounce over here, guys. I think it... I think it uh, it caught the thing and then kicked back up. It kicked back up and see it caught the uh, caught a lip right there. <laughs> Wait, give me a shot. Put his head down on my shoulder. <laughs> and then there was the Sonny and Glenn show. Bruce, can you give me this over here? It's a gentleman from the construction site. He's hit about four of his employees. His Sonny has taken out about four employees this week. Uh, believe me, just bill us for all the damages. WUSA, care of Sonny Jurgensen. Today is Thursday, which of course means it's time now. Let's <laughs> talk. Encore Wednesday. Looks like I've got a tiger fly to play. I apologize. Are you better? I, usually I get it back, but I could uh, Thanks, Mo. You get a big assist there, really. What was it that triggered you? I don't know. I just, I think the total absurdity, what I, what I was doing just... <laughs> it's time now to introduce you to our guest prognosticator for the week, week four of the NFL season. Where did Green Bay? Uh, they've lost their quarterback. I live in Wisconsin. I'm going for Green Bay. Green Bay, okay. Cincinnati and Kansas City? I love the music in Kansas City. Kansas City. <laughs> Denver and Cleveland? Uh, I love the weather in Denver, but I know they're playing at Cleveland, so it doesn't make any difference. Cleveland. You like Cleveland. Are Indianapolis at the New York Jets? Well, now, I understand that USA Today favors the Jets by three. Mm -hmm. So guess who I'm picking? Good career move. Dallas at the Cardinals. Well, you got that Cardinal connection. I know. I know you have. What do you think? Just because he's a cardinal, do you think that I'm going to vote for that? It, it's a good move politically. Oh, but it it's a good career it, move. It doesn't affect <laughs> me one single bit. Yeah. Um, I think that um, the Phoenix will beat Dallas. Bring out the George Steinbrenner tote board. Well, if you're, you're scoring at home with us, here. it's George's 19th managerial change in 17 years, batting, dating back to 1973. When he, <laughs> please care to join us if you like at home. When he hired Billy Verdon, fired Billy Verdon, hired Billy Martin, hired, fired Billy Martin, hired Bob Lemon, fired Bob Lemon, hired, hired Billy Martin, Martin, fired Billy Martin, Martin hired Dick Hauser, fired, fired Dick Hauser, hired, hired Gene Michael, fired Gene Michael, hired Bob Lemon, fired Bob Lemon, hired Gene Michael, fired Gene Michael, hired Clyde King, fired Clyde King, hired Billy Martin, fired Billy Martin, hired Yogi Berra, fired Yogi Berra, hired Billy Martin, fired Billy Martin, hired Lou Pinella, fired Lou Pinella, hired, there's a definite pattern there, hired, fired Billy Martin, hired Lou Pinella, fired Lou Pinella, hired Dallas Green, fired Dallas Green, Hired Bucky Dent, fired Bucky Dent, and hired Stump Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for this. Like, oh, please, you're too kind. I feel like I'm back at the roast. Everybody's gone. Do we have time to do this? Hello, goodbye. Goodbye. That's all. Have a good night. <laughs>